So hello everyone, today I'll be covering the computer uh, notes for NSSP and today is the fourth video of computer. I'll be covering, on this video I'll be covering the MCQ on memory. So before doing the MCQ, I'll be explaining what are the, what is RAM, ROM and the different, type, different types of memory and from there we'll be doing MCQ. So let's get the video started. So first is RAM. So what is RAM? RAM is also called random access memory and it is read write memory or the main memory or the primary memory. So RAM is a temporary memory and it is also called the primary memory. And what are its function is the programs and data that the CPU requires during execution of program are stored in this memory and it is very volatile as the data is stored when the power is turned off suppose you have forgotten to save the data so it will be completely lost in the computer uh, it will be completely lost if you don't save so if you open microsoft word arrow you you type a letter and suppose you forgot to save it and the current went out and without saving the current without saving your work you switched off your computer so when you open the laptop again the letter will not be there because it was not safe in the ram so this is the function of ram in order to save your uh, program into the memory and ram is divided into two types that is static random access memory and dynamic random access memory Next, what is ROM? ROM stands for read-only memory and it is the memory that is stored into the uh, computer. That is, the letter at the link. Are you the safe course you can do ROM the safe wall. So, RAM and ROM is different. RAM is per, uh, temporary but ROM is permanent. So, ROM is permanent and it stores information that are essential to operate the system like the program essential to boot the computer that is when you start the computer you do rom the bishi important as and it is non volatile means it do julie nabang yo or it do data da kata it do nahari wo always retain each other that means to, to access critical data you will be able to find your data and used in and used in embedded system or where the programming needs not change that is kita you do in rom the thaiku idu hotai idu system the thaiku and do you could change crudely could come that is permanently as a and it is using calculators and peripheral device that is calculators are peripheral device like like printer etc it is used and rom the key key as you could it is m rom p rom e p rom and e e p rom next what is ram and rom uh, differentiation the case eh? the memory is the most essential element of a computer system because without it the computer cannot perform simple tasks computer memory is divided into two types that is primary ram though primary memory though ram and rom are secondary memory though with pen drive hard disk cd drive to it don't get secondary memory group. random access memory is primary volatile that means it will hurry jai and uh, safe no good eh? and rom is primary non volatile that means it will not hurry jai so if we look at the types of memory ram is divided into s static ram and dynamic ram and rom is divided into prom e prom and e e prom so what are the types of e rom that is read only memory so read only memory that first type of prom that is programmable read only memory that is it can be programmed by the user that means user will modify group array aro it will program group it will change group array so it will this is known as programmable ROM. Next is EEPROM, that is erasable programmable read only memory. That is, to changes the value, it will erase corner to nutun the logo. Next to EEPROM, that is er er electrically erasable programmable read only memory. That is, the data can be erased by applying an electric field, no need to ultra level ultraviolet light, and it will erase corner. Next is MROM. Mask ROM is a kind of read-only memory that is tasked off at the time of production. Like any other ROM, mask ROM cannot enable the user to change the data stored in it. So next though, let's look at the type of the, the different classification of data. That is bit. 
the smallest unit is of memory is bit and it is also known as primary digit binary digit and 8 bit makes one byte and one byte is equal to one kilobyte 1024 kilobyte is equal to one megabyte 1024 megabyte is equal to one gigabyte 1024 gigabyte is equal to one terabyte and 1024 terabyte is equal to one petabyte 1024 petabyte is equal to one exabyte and 1024 exabyte is equal to one zettabyte 1024 zettabyte is equal to one yottabyte so no need to study all this you only need to remember byte kilobyte megabyte gigabyte terabyte and petabyte so this is the classification of the computer memory measurements you can write it down now let's start the question so first question is touch stores data and instructions required during the processing of a data and output into the results so the answer will be in the memory where is the data permanently saved so it is permanently saved in the storage that is in the rom where are the programs and data to be used to be computer made available so it is made available in the storage next how many memory does a computer have so computer has only two memories that is ram and rom uh it uh, it has not two memory it is not ram and rom it is primary memory and secondary memory next question number five primary storage is touch as compared to the secondary storage so what so it will be fast and expensive so memory primary mem storage like ram and rom are fast and they are very expensive as compared to pen drive a ram of 4 gb cost around 2000 rupees however a pen drive of 4 gb will cost only around 200 to 300 rupees in the online uh, store so this is the answer next the key feature of in internal memory is so the key feature of internal memory is it limited storage capacity temporary storage fast and access and high cost so it is all of the above question number seven the two types of main memory are it is rom and ram i've already told you next which of the following is a correct definition of volatile memory so the correction of the definition of volatile memory volatile means it can be easily be lost so it loses content on power failure next catch and main memory will not be able to hold their content when the power is off so they are so they are what they are volatile that means safe no to hurry all. next in computer terminology what is the full form of ram so it is random access memory next dash memory in a computer where information is temporarily stored when it is being accessed or worked on by the processor so it is random access uh, so it is so it is random access memory or ram next why is ram so called ram stands for random access memory because it can be selected directly by storing for storing and retrieving data and information of any location of chip so this is the answer next question number 13 what is which of the following is not true about ram so ram is what so first option is ram is a same story as a hard disk it is temporary storage area it is volatile it's a primary memory so option two three four are correct only ram is uh, ram is the same sort same as hard disk storage is wrong because ram will have lesser memory as compared to the hard disk memory what well, hard disk memory will have one terabyte whereas ram will have only 4 gb that is gigabyte next virtual memory allocates hard disk space to supplement the immediate functional memory capacity of so it is the ram ram is the most important uh, memory that allocates virtual memory so next the storage that retains each data after the power is turned off is referred to as so hari jale volatile nahara gale non volatile gui next the advantage of dynamic ram the ram is that it is cheaper than static ram next which of the following stores data prominently into the computer so it is the rom that is read only memory it is a permanent permanent uh, it is a primary non-volatile memory as i've already explained to you next question number 18 
permanent instruction that the computer use when it is turned on and it cannot be changed by other instruction or content in so the answer is rom next when you turn on a computer the cpu present to execute the programs closed are stored uh, instructions are stored in the so it is stored in the rom rom is also called the read only memory and it is the <coughs> memory that is non volatile what is prom prom means programmable read only memory i've already explained you this next and this content that is recorded at the time of manufacturing cannot be changed easily by the user is called so it is called read only memory read only memory means cd disk condo you cannot change the data into it so it is also called read only memory so it sometimes it is called cd rom that is compact disk read only memory next and read only memory is found in uh in cd disk like antivirus antivirus disk etc where you cannot enter the data in your disk next in the field of information and communication technology what is ee prom so it is electrically erasable program uh, programmable read only memory so i've already explained you this the difference between memory and storage is that memory is touch and store storage is just so the answer is memory is temporary but storage is permanent next dash x is a buffer between the cpu and the main memory so it is the cache memory so what is cache memory cache memory means those those memory that are stored in your computer for fast access which of the following is a high is a very high speed semiconductor memory that can speed up the cpu so it is the cache memory i've already told you cache memory is that memory where you will be able to retrieve your data next which is the term used for temporarily stored memory so it is also cache data next 27 dutch is having more memory addressed addresses the that are physically available so this is the virtual memory virtual memory like ram etc so next is question number 28 what touch is the ability of a device to jump directly so the ability to access the data faster is also known as random access memory that is why it is called primary volatile memory it is very fast and also expensive next question number 29 the touch is the amount of data that a storage device can move from the storage to the computer per second so it is the data digitizing rate ddr next the main director of a disk is called the so the main director of a disk is also called the root folder root directory next touch indicates how much data a particular storage medium can hold so it is also called the capacity next the secondary storage devices they can only perform data but cannot perform so they cannot perform all of this so the answer is all of this next when where do you turn off where uh, where do you save the data that your data will remain intact even if the rom uh, computer is turned off so it is stored in the so it is start stored in the secondary storage devices like usb cd hard disk etc the term touch refers to the data storage system that makes it impossible that makes it possible for a computer or electronic device to store and retrieve data so it is storage technology next the devices used to compensate for the difference in rates of flow of data from one device to another is also called as the buffer so it acts as a as in between the flow of data from one device to another which of the following is a magnetic storage device so magnetic storage device are those that uses magnetism and it is the hard disk <coughs> next hard disks are considered as dutch so hard disks are considered as non volatile that means they cannot be their data once stored cannot be erased easily unless you delete it from the computer next question number 38 the thick rigid metal plotters that are capable of retrieving information at a high rate of speed is also called as the hard disk so the hard disk is a rigid metal plotter that retrieves data at a high speed hard drives are used to store so they are used to store non volatile data that is you cannot remove them the hard disk is normally located at inside the system base unit that is inside the cpu etc 
the data on a floppy disk is recorded in rings called tracks which of the following is an example of a magnetic storage media so it is the zip disk as well as the floppy disk so it is both one and two next floppy disks are organized in so floppy disks are organized in tracks and sectors next the capacity of a 3.5 inch floppy disk so 3.5 inch floppy disk is 1.44 mi mi millibyte uh, me megabytes the most common storage device for personal computer is the floppy disk so floppy disk is the most common for personal computer which of the following has the smallest storage capacity so the small, smallest storage capacity is the floppy disk which is the smallest type of memory FTD stands for floppy disk drive it is somewhat like this and it will have like this a disk so this is the floppy disk drive next Nash is the process of dividing the disk into tracks and sectors so this is called formatting next the data on a floppy disk is recorded in rings called so it is also called segments magnetic tape are not practical for application where data must be quickly recalled because the tape is a sequence shell access medium next which of the following can hold maximum data so the one that can handle maximum data is the magnetic tape next in a cd read write you can read write and rewrite information cd stands for compact disk next which of the following are the advantage of cd rom on a as a storage device so it is the the option one that is cd rom is an inexpensive way to store data large amount of data or information next which media is has the ability to have data information stored by them more than once so it will be cd read write disk the main difference between cd rom and cd rw that is read and write is that they are same just two different terms used by two different manufacturers compact disk that can approximately store 650 to 800 mb of data is also called as the cd rom that is compact disk read only memory and the last question for today is a flat metal surface that contains a large amount of permanently stored information automatically is also known as the cd rom that is the compact disk read only memory so with this the video has come to an end i'll be uploading the notes in the link description and in the pinned comment so thank you for watching and all the best for your exam have a great day